Welcome back to the channel. Um, before we get started, I just want to give a brief introduction because we do have a lot of new community members. So, I live and travel in my van full time. June of this year will make one year uh, since I've been living in my van. Um, I relocated from Michigan to Florida. I am currently a Florida resident residing in Florida. Um, I will not be in Florida too long. I am just here to get some minor and major work done on the van. Once that is complete, I will continue on with my travels of the United States. Uh, now that's out of the way. Welcome back to the channel. So what's on the agenda today? Currently I'm at Planet Fitness. I'm about to run in and take a shower. What else? So <laughs> I have something to tell you guys. I am embarking on a new journey. I'm still going to be living in my van, traveling full time, all that good stuff, but a new journey has been added into the mix. Um, I figured since I'm going to be in Florida until at least the end of April, mid-May, uh, because of the work that I have to get down on my van, I decided to try something new. This stemmed from when I first started social media. Uh, YouTube when I had a dreadlock channel doing hair I've heard you know a lot of people saying hey you have a very soothing voice you should look into ASMR you should look into voice acting you should look into you know doing audiobooks then on TikTok um, I did dreadlocks on TikTok and then um, I did a stitch with a girl and she was talking about her voice and how people you know were shocked when they heard her talk and then I stitched that video and was like hey I know how you feel and that my stitched video went viral and I got like 3.2 million views on it and everybody you should be a voice actor you sound like a Disney princess you should read children's books you should do audiobooks and then YouTube now my my um, nomadic introvert van life channel I get I get those comments uh, in the comment section of how you know soothing my voice sounds I should do audiobooks I should do children's books I sound like a Disney princess and I never really listened to it <laughs> you know I tried in Michigan when my viral my video went viral I tried to do something in Michigan but Michigan doesn't have a lot of voice acting schools I did some research I couldn't find anything really um, that looked legit to me I'm not saying that it wasn't but I couldn't but then I come to Florida and I do research and BAM I'm like whoa <laughs> classes and teach schools and mentors and teachers galore so after doing tons of research, I found a really good teacher that um, I want to work with. I was really impressed with his portfolio, his years of experience. He sounds phenomenal, amazing. And I called him, we had about a 30 minute phone conversation and it, I'm happy and excited to be working with him. I told him, like I'm telling y'all, I told him I don't have any expectations. Um, I heard it a lot on social media, I should give it a try. I'm gonna be in, in Florida for at least another month and a half and uh, uh, I have no expectations. If it goes somewhere, great. If not, I learn something new. And that's kind of like my outlook on it. It just gives me something to do while I'm here in Florida, you know, besides beach hopping and looking at all the sights and tasting the food. So my first class is t this morning at 10 a.m. So I'm at Planet Fitness, gonna grab a shower, um, get some work done. After that, who knows? I don't know what I have planned for today. That's why I love living in a van. I love traveling because I'm not confined to one specific city or one specific area I can go anywhere I want stay anywhere I want so that is the beauty of living in my van full-time and traveling full-time so I don't know what we'll do what's on the agenda today we'll just get this morning out the way which is you know shower paperwork voice acting lessons and I'll tell you guys all about it that that's the news guys that's what I wanted to tell you I am starting voice acting lessons today so time is 7:44. um i'm gonna get a shower and uh i'll see you guys after my shower i'll see you guys when i'm on the road and on the way to my voice acting uh classes see you guys in a bit
Okay, fam, we made it. I'm a little nervous. I got about five minutes before I have to be in there. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I'm so nervous. Man. 40 years old going back to school. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I mean, I could do it. I'm gonna give it a try anyways. I mean, look at me trying to... Okay, I'm talking too much. I'll see you guys after class. <laughs> after class? I'll see you guys after my first lesson. See you guys in a bit. I'm finished. My first class went really, really well. I was so freaking nervous. <sighs> My teacher is very kind, very patient. He's amazing. Um, he's funny. He really relaxed me, but I did horrible for my first time. But he was like, it's your first time. You're not going to be a pro at it. I mean, he's right, but he was, he was a good guy. Um, a lot of fun. Um, I got another class coming up with him next week, so I look forward to that. But um, it's 11.45. Uh, let's head to the beach. I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. So I decided to change where I was parked. I like this better. Um, a side park, like parking on the side. That's my view out my passenger window. You have people fishing. Um, I was on my way to Honeymoon Beach Island, but I saw this little pull off and I decided to come here first. I might still continue on to the beach just to see what it looks like. But for now, this is a really nice spot. Let me show you what it's looking like outside my driver's side window. I mean, it's alive. It's beautiful. You got the the golf across the way. And uh, that's what it's like in front of me. So now, let's go. Uh, after a long day at class, which I enjoyed thoroughly, um, let's see what it looks like outside. Uh, here we go. Outside my van. I'll be finding these gems, man. This is like right outside my door. I'm gonna keep it open. It's really nice out. Sweep out the van. Go take a look at the water. Y'all hang out. Enjoy the view. I'll be back.
it feels so good outside like ridiculously good i'm gonna leave my sandals out there so i don't bring that mess in here i'm about to just chill for a little bit here your girl is want to chill today Currently fasting, so no food for me. Got some notes from class I need to go over. Sand. Let me show you what electrolytes um, I'm currently taking. Oh, I got a stain on my, I need to get that off. I'm gonna show you electrolytes I'm currently taking. Uh, I'm gonna have to drink this one. I got a hole in it So these are the electrolytes I'm currently taking Put the light on here It's called liquid IV hydration multiplier non GMO electrolyte mix add to 16 ounces of water And that's what I'm taking and I take that once a day So today we are um, headed to, well, I'm headed to uh, a shop by the name of Bicycles. Um, I've been thinking, a lot of these places I go to, not just beaches, but places in general where I park, um, there are places where I can ride my bike and go exploring. So I'm thinking about purchasing a bike. I hope I can get one today. I hope I can find one that is uh, something that I'd be interested in more my speed. I'm looking at electric bikes, um, regular bikes, all kind of bikes. So hopefully I can purchase a bike today. So even when I go to the beaches and there's really nice paths and places to explore in the downtown area, I can ride my bike instead of wasting gas and driving my van. I can just keep it right there. So yeah, let's go find your girl the bike. But first I got to go get some gas. So I'll see you guys when I'm on the road and at the bike shop. See you guys in a bit.
made it to the bike shop. We're going to go in and look around. Hopefully I'll get something. Who knows? Let's go. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. This is cool. That's a big baby right there. The girl finally got a bike. I got a bike, fam. Check it out. Check it out. Look at that bike. I got a GPS, Garmin GPS system. That it's with me, of course. But I can put any place in there and go anywhere I want. It does the works. And here's my bike rack. It holds two bikes. The guy showed me how to operate my bike rack. He adjusted it for me. He helped me put the bike up there uh, just to make sure it works. But I can pick it up. The bike is super, super light. And uh, I'm happy. I can finally bike and had, add a new element. I mean, what? look at my fan. What? Look at my baby. Look at my girl. Look how beautiful that bike is. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know what my next move is, but... uh. I'll see you guys uh, when I'm on the road. See you guys in a bit. How much? How much? Hi. Hello. Right, yes, sir. $4. Do you do uh, veterans discounts? Only for annual passes. Okay. Well, where would I get an annual pass from? Uh, we get the issue of major center up ahead. Okay. Sure. Get one today. Uh, is it good for all the state parks or just this one? We both state parks. Oh, yeah. How much are they? Four. Second course? Yes. $64.20. And that's with the veterans discount? No. That's 25%. Okay, cool. Thank you. Can you get that today? Yeah. Okay, good. Here, I'll let you in. Where's the, where's it at? If I just follow this road, this, this is where the spread car is supposed to be going. It's going to go around the right. With about two or three hundred yards up on the right hand side. It'll be a so building? Nature Center. Uh huh. Go upstairs and ask for Sophie. All the state parks in uh, Florida? Yep. Okay, thank you. We're going to go get us a park pass. He gave me my money back because I'm going to go get one right now. I'm about to uh, lie or deceive. Uh, we don't do that. <laughs> I'm honest. I'm about to go get this uh, pass. This is so cool. And 25% off. Uh, we are at Honeymoon Beach Island. For those of you who are not familiar, I'm just going to hang out here today. Um, i got to get some work done. I have a voice acting lesson tomorrow. I'm going to be practicing today. I might go live on YouTube. Oh, here's the Nature Center. Okay, let's grab it first, then we'll leave. Okay, let's roll. There she go. Oh, I'm, this is exotic. It's all, all a maze. We're gonna pull in, guys. We're not gonna be. Okay. I'll be right back. Oasis Beach, here we go. Uh, we'll go to this one. kind of beach I like um, that has a ton of parking and you can just like chill like this is the kind of beach I like one that has a lots of parking <laughs> kind of want to park off alone alone
going to back in. And it's beautiful weather today. 75 and windy. No humidity. We're here. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to study. Whew. I've been sitting in my van forever. I've been at this beach probably for the last three hours and I've been sitting in my van. I just got off live not too long ago. I'll insert a clip uh, from live, from the live that I just got off of. Look, me and the fam and the community, we was turned up in our lives. So take a look at this clip. Well, actually, I'll just put it next to me. Uh, somewhere on the screen, I'll show you uh, the clip from the live and family members and the community members are saying hi to everybody. So uh, it was a really good live. Uh, but I'm about to go uh, lay out on the beach for a little bit, take my notes from class and kind of study. Um, and just kind of chill by the water. I've been in here too long. It's 519 and it's time for me to get up out of here. So yeah, let's go to the beach. Oh, oh, by the way, I never said what beach I'm at. I'm at Honeymoon Island Beach. Honeymoon Island Beach. Ooh, let me get my stuff together. Let me set you guys up. Uh, you can't see me right now. Let's put on the light. Uh, okay. The coach battery is looking good because the solar is getting some sun. It's not a lot of sun. So I better turn off this light. I don't want to drain it. Ah, uh, turn on this little one right here. Uh, I got my backpack. It's got my chair in it. And uh, yeah, let me get the rest of my stuff together. Where's my bracelet? I have a white bracelet. Oh, here it is. Um, this is my favorite bracelet. I had a black one like this, but it broke off my wrist so I bought this new one so but this is it my kind of my drip 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 look at my bracelets and then my cute little turtle necklace I uh, love turtles so yeah let's get out of here I'm not going to be riding my bike today I do want to ride my bike in this area but if you saw when I was driving there's really no bike lanes it's very small narrow streets and I don't want to ride it here so I'm going to have to go to a beach uh, probably like Paradise Beach uh, has a good kind of bike path to ride. And I think Butler Beach is a really nice area to ride bikes. But I'm definitely going to get out there and ride it. But unfortunately, I can't ride it here. The, the streets are just too narrow or the roads. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to the beach. See you guys in a bit. Today is probably the best day ever in Florida. And I'm not even gonna lie. It's like literally the best day. Um, it's not sunny. It's a nice cool breeze. It's not humid. I'm loving it. I'm gonna enjoy this walk to the beach and I'll show you guys when I get there.
back some jasmine rice. I have some uh, I have some leftover coleslaw from yesterday when I tried that chicken sandwich. The rice is hot. I microwaved it. I love coleslaw. Leftover coleslaw. And then we're going to use the steak that I just sauteed. I marinated this steak in teriyaki sauce with a little bit of brown sugar, sriracha seasoning, garlic powder, and onion salt. So this is the finished results. Rice, coleslaw, and steak. Now we finished eat. Finished results. Rice, um, coleslaw, steak. I marinated this steak for a long time. Like I said, I used teriyaki, season, uh, teriyaki sauce, brown sugar, garlic powder, um, onion salt, sriracha seasoning, and then I used chili oil to cook it. This steak is so tender. Uh, when it's this thin, you don't need to cook it long. I mean, look. Mm. Here you go. Get some rice, get some uh, coleslaw. <clears throat> Have this bite right there. There you go. It's good, isn't it? Mmm. This, this vlog was kind of all over the place. It was just a, several days in my life. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I'm really happy that I bought a bike. <clears throat> After I bought the bike, I was so exhausted. I fell asleep and woke up too late. I was like, I'm too late to film. Because I was literally at the bike shop for like a little over three hours. Just the whole process of picking out a bike, test driving, test uh, riding, ma making sure it's good. So I rode it outside. I bought some accessories. They attached it. He had to order a part for me that he thought was in that fit. So then he helped me. The guy that worked there helped me with my bike rack. He adjusted it for me, showed me how to use it. Like it was a whole thing. Um, I was really grateful for the guy that helped me out. He was really sweet. <clears throat> So after that day, after the bike, you know, after I bought my bike and got everything set up, I went to a beach, a, a pull off area of a beach. And I was like, I'm just gonna take a little nap. Mm -mm. I fell asleep and I, I woke up and it was just too late. Today, it was just a relaxed day for me. Um, I went to Honeymoon Beach Island, which is a very beautiful area. <clears throat> and I bought me a, um, a state park, an annual state park pass that's good till next year. And I got a veteran's discount, so that was cool.
And honestly, I didn't really film a lot today because I chilled on the beach. It felt so good. I left the beach at like around 7.30. I just sat on a beach and stared at the water. It was a perfect beach day. There wasn't a lot of sun. There was no sun. It was like overcast day. It was very breezy. It was a nice cool breeze. It wasn't humid. And it just felt so good to be out there. So I left around 7.30. And then by the time I got to the place where I was hunkering down for the night, it's it's late. I'm eating late. It's, um, it is 10.15, if you can believe that. But all in all, it's just been a <laughs> heck. It's just been, I wouldn't say hectic, but it's just been like a disorganized several days in my life. But very relaxing. Very, um, I feel accomplished. I finally got me a bike. That's something I always wanted to do. Mmm. And also when I got to the beach, I went live today and I talked to the, the community. So I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen where you can see the community members saying hi to you guys. I was like, tell them hi, tell everybody hi who's watching the video. So I'll put it somewhere on the screen where you can see um, the community members who showed up to the live um, saying hi to you guys. That was real fun. Um, that, that live, I did about, it was about an hour and a half live. And we had a lot of fun. Mm. This is so good. I have a little steak left that I'll just eat for tomorrow. I don't eat I don't eat too much now that I'm eating late. But now that I got a bike and a little GPS to go with it, I'm definitely going to be biking um a lot. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. this is life this is so good but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here finish my dinner up um, get some rest um, I do have a busy day tomorrow so I want to be rested but I do appreciate you guys more than you know I, I, I say this every time and I truly mean it. I'm so grateful and thankful that I have such a humble community. Um, you guys are positive. You guys are hilarious, engaging, and I freaking love it. So thank you, thank you so much for being such an awesome community. That means the world to me. Thanks for taking time out of your day to have dinner with me, uh, hang out with me, uh, chat. Um, that also means the world to me. So thank you for that. You could have been doing anything and you chose to hang out with me. So thank you. But your girl's gone. I'm so I'm tired. I'm going to finish this up and hit the hay. I got a long day tomorrow. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.